Hi folks, this is Mike with GetMyTips.com with a tip for you on how to make delicious, easy honey barbecue chicken. When I say easy, this recipe only has five ingredients and one of those is the chicken. Now, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know that our recipes are designed for folks who don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen or for folks who don't have a lot of time to spend in the kitchen. Now, with that in mind, we're going to take chicken directly from the freezer and show you how to make delicious honey barbecue chicken in about an hour. Also on this video, in keeping with our theme, great tips from the kitchen to the garage, we have another bonus tip for you. And this one, just like our last few videos, is a cell phone tip that you can actually use. Now, wouldn't it be nice if your cell phone only rang when you wanted it to? Well, we're going to show you how to do that and you won't have to download any software. Okay, when you bring chicken wings or chicken drumsticks home from the grocery store, you have to divide them up to take advantage of this recipe. You cannot leave them in this kind of package because if you do, when the time comes to prepare the recipe, you will never get them separated. When you're ready to prepare the chicken, the first thing you want to do is preheat the oven to 425 degrees. And this is how you must store the chicken in Ziploc bags so that you're able to separate it. Okay, we want to take one half cup of water and put it into a pot that we can put into the oven. We're using this cast iron Dutch oven. We want to put in one half cup of barbecue sauce and one quarter cup of honey. In addition to that, we want to add one tablespoon of liquid smoke, and that is really going to bump up the flavor of the chicken. And by the way, if you intend to cook your chicken on the grill, putting it in liquid smoke, honey, and barbecue sauce in the oven to completely cook it really does enhance the flavor. Then you can take it outside and finish it up on the grill. Now we can mix everything up and put the chicken in. And in this case here, we're going to put in six chicken drumsticks. And it's really not that important if all the chicken is not immersed into the liquid. Once you have all the chicken in the pot, let's put the lid on and put it in a 425 degree oven for 45 minutes. Now did you know that you can use your cell phone as a timer? Check this out. Okay, Google. Set the timer for 45 minutes. Sure, 45 minutes. Starting. I would like to take this opportunity to invite you to check out another one of our videos, How to Make a Delicious Crispy Baked Potato in About 30 Minutes. We'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. And by the way, that also includes a cell phone tip how to use your phone as a handy tip calculator and you don't have to download any software. Okay, while the chicken is cooking in the oven, we can line a sheet pan with aluminum foil and use a rack but spray it with a cooking spray like Pam. Next we're going to use a tall cup to mix our coating. We're going to use about half a cup of barbecue sauce and a generous portion of honey, probably about a quarter of a cup here. Remember, this is honey barbecue. We want to make it sticky. We're going to show you a cool way to coat the outside of the chicken. After the chicken has been in the 425 degree oven for 45 minutes, we want to dip it in this delicious, sticky honey barbecue sauce. Cooking the chicken on a wire rack allows airflow underneath. That helps cook the chicken and make it crispy. Once the chicken is completely covered with this delicious, sticky honey barbecue sauce, we want to put it back in the oven at 425 degrees for 10 minutes and then under the broiler 
for about five minutes. The broiler does a pretty good job at making the chicken crispy, but we want to make it extra crispy, so we're going to use a creme brulee torch. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job. Let's have a look at this finished chicken. Coming up, the cell phone tip. But before we get to that, I would like to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that when we post another video, you'll be notified. And if you think you learned something here, you can help us by sharing this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go to settings on the phone and then click on sounds and vibration and then come down here to ringtone and we are going to set the ringtone as silent, meaning the phone will not ring unless we assign a ringtone to our contacts. And then we save that. And notice the ringtone is set for silent and we're good. Okay, just because we set the default ringtone to silent does not mean we won't receive phone calls. You can still receive phone calls and see the number displayed on your phone screen. And if you don't answer it, it'll go to voicemail. But it won't ring unless you go to whatever contacts you want to ring your phone and set a ringtone for them. So in this case here, let's click here. There's my little buddy Toby. So to edit this contact, we click on Edit, and we come down here to More. Scroll down here to the ringtone, and you see that right now it's set for the default ringtone, which of course is silent. So we need to assign a ringtone so when Toby calls, my phone will ring. So let's, because I'm old, let's go with old phone. Very loud. I will definitely be able to hear that. and save it. And that's all you need to do.